is is the feeling in, in manufacturing in the, in the US that the, the, the end there's light at the end of the tunnel, or, or are we still in this for 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 the longer term? Ray, after you first. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we've been hit with uh, another real problem uh, that is also partially a, an effect of the pandemic. Two things. Um, one, for us, the cost of co of copper has more than doubled in the last twelve months. In addition to that, trying to get raw cable and components is next to impossible. And that's another area where over the last year, I can't tell you how many times people have said, um, I can't believe you can make cables in five days. So we, we spent a lot of time onshoring as much as we can. We have production in the U.S., we have production in China. And that the U.S. production really saved us during that period because we were still able to deliver what we're finding now is the biggest problem customers are having is reliability of their supply chain. Okay. And, you know, we're, we, we have a lot of things going for us in that way. One, we also make product in the United States Two, We have very good dis distribution partners like Sean who yeah. actually stock the product. So when people ran out one, our distributors had supply and two, we could still make things in the U S so yeah. I, I think that, those were big saviors, but this, the supply side problem is a huge problem. And now um, economically we expect uh, growth over the next four years, but um, you know, we have little glitches like people can't get silicone right now because there's, we didn't have a good water season in China and Asia like we expected. So now there's no silicone. And yesterday I found out, or two days ago, I found out that production lines are being shut down at major auto manufacturers because they can't get chips. So that that definitely uh, put some unexpected uh, glitches in our plans. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Sean, what, what, what do you think in terms of what, what you're seeing from, from your clients? You're obviously dealing with a, with, a, with a wide range of clients as well. You know, is it the supply chain that's, that, that's, that's causing hiccups as, as, as well now? Is, is that an aftershock really of what we've been through? So, uh, I mean, as Ray mentioned, the silicon yeah. um, to make chips is a big problem. We're yeah. starting to see lead times approaching 30 to 50 weeks. Yeah. Um, that's going to be a big problem in the next few months. Um, it's definitely going to affect everyone's sales. As Ray mentioned, we, we have uh, a particularly large client in the automotive industry, which I really you know can't discuss too yeah, much at length. This has an NDA in place, but they have basically shut down. We we're supposed to do a big project in Chicago um, in one of their plants, and it's been it's been stopped because um, they they can they don't have the microchips to make the cars. So car production is is stopped at many plants. Um, that's going to affect the, the car market. I mean, you're not going to be able to get a new car uh, the next few months. It's going to be very difficult to find uh, anything new. We, we're seeing that already here with the trucks. Um, mm. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a big problem. I think it's bigger than anybody really believes it is. 